Hi, I'm Carl from Apt, and this is the 2023 Q80C series QLED TV from Samsung. In this video, I'll be giving you a closer look at the specs and features, audio and video quality, and talk a little about how it differs from last year's Q80B series, so stick around. The Q80C series is available in a variety of sizes, ranging from 50 inches all the way up to 98 inches. So there's an option for just about any size home theater. The one we have here for this video is the 65 inch model, which starts at $14.99, but we do have sales and promotions throughout the year. So be sure to talk to one of our home theater specialists by phone or live chat to hear about our most up-to-date pricing or any promotions we might have going on here at the store. This series fits into Samsung's TV lineup in the upper middle of the non-OLED 4K TVs, just under the Neo QLED models, but it shares a lot of features with them, starting with the connections. The Q80C gets two USBs, an optical audio output, Ethernet, an antenna connection, four full-featured HDMI 2.1s, Bluetooth 5.2, and Wi-Fi 5. For the operating system, Samsung uses Tizen, which we found to operate smoothly, and it's easy to use in case this is your first Samsung smart TV. The main page has a customizable line of your applications. There's a recently watched window, what's on now, and then there's some additional curated content below that's organized into genres to kind of make it easy to find something to watch if you're looking for ideas. You also have a search tool to help locate content across multiple platforms, ambient mode, which you can use to find cool wallpapers to display on the screen when you're not watching content, Game Hub, which you can use to play video games right off the TV without needing to buy a separate gaming console. You will need a game controller for this feature, however, but there are tons of games to play from services like Xbox, Luna, GeForce Now, and Utomic. Most require payment, but there are some free ones here as well, so you can play them and try them out. If you want to see a, a list of all the sources you have connected to the TV, you can find those down in the Connected Devices menu. And under that is the Settings menu, where you can make changes to the TV's picture, audio, or network settings. Some other smart features you get on the Q80C are Samsung's Bixby Smart Assistant and Amazon Alexa for voice controls. It'll work with Google Assistant too, but You'll need a separate device like a Nest speaker or a Nest Hub to take advantage of that feature. It's got Apple's AirPlay 2, so you can display things from a compatible Apple device onto the screen wirelessly. There's a web browser built in, although using a smartphone or tablet is going to work a lot more efficiently. And one of my favorite smart features, Samsung's TV Plus. This is a collection of streaming TV channels that you can watch for free. It's great for cord cutters or anyone looking for extra content to enjoy. As far as audio goes, all the sizes get 2.2 channel 40 watt sound systems built in. It sounds decent, but it definitely benefits from adding some external audio. If you already have a system you're happy with, perfect, just hook it up to that one. But if you don't, we would recommend adding a Samsung soundbar with the Q-Symphony feature. This lets the TV and the soundbar speakers all work together to enhance the whole experience. Dialogue is going to come through even clearer, surround effects get even wider, and there's just an overall fuller sound, which makes it feel more like you're at the movie theater and less like you're sitting in your family room. And speaking of movie theaters, let's talk about the picture. The picture on the Q80C is very good. All sizes have a 120 hertz direct full array local dimming panel, except for the 50 inch model, which is 60 hertz. And they all offer great colors and deep black levels. You get nice highlights and bright scenes and good detail in dark ones, whether you're watching HDR or SDR content. It upscales well too, so all your old 1080p DVDs are gonna look great too. It handles motion well, so sports are fun to watch. Video games run smoothly, especially when you're taking advantage of those features like variable refresh rates and 4K at 120 hertz. Plus, it's got this cool gaming specific menu that you can access by holding down the play pause button on the remote. And it's great for watching YouTube videos and other streaming content. There's a lot to like about the Q80C series, but how does it differ from last year's Q80B, and is it better? <clears throat> this is where it gets a little tricky. There are not a lot of differences between the two. The Q80C gets an updated picture processor in the Neural Quantum Processor 4K, and we did find the picture quality to be improved over the 80B, but they scaled down the audio on the 80C to a 2.2 channel 40 watt system as opposed to the 2.2.2 channel 60 watt system on last year's Q80B series. However, the retail prices didn't change. This one in the 65 inch size retails for $14.99, which is also what the 80B series went for when it first came out. So we'd say the better picture is worth the small sacrifice in audio quality, especially since you always have the option to add a soundbar down the road. 
If you have any questions on the Q80C series or any other TVs we carry here at AFT, be sure to contact one of our home theater experts. We're here seven days a week and are always happy to help. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you in the next one.